it was a big goal I set out for myself at the beginning of this year. And to sort of make that final push in Paris to make that happen is very important to me. And stepping up under that pressure and playing the level of tennis I did was key. This is another week. I got I to gotta find that tennis within myself. I got to find that level, find the way to perform and uh, give myself the best opportunity to win. The thing that's most important to me, especially being in this event for the first time, having played some of the best players in the world in the first match without really having any matches sort of work myself into the tournament, it's, it's key to know that when I had my back up against the wall, I was able to play well in Paris. My back's going to be up against the wall right away from the start here. I got to find a way to play well, so that definitely gives me a confidence in finding answers and solutions. There's really only eagerness to keep going further and uh, uh, faster, but sometimes you got to just be patient and just keep working through things. Got here midweek, was able to train, get used to the facilities, uh, the courts here, get an understanding of this venue, and really have it that by Sunday time, it feels like it's all smooth sailing. <laughs> Well, congratulations to Milos Raonic, 23 years old, and he's really only recently made his name on the big stage. Here he is in the grand finale, Justin, and, and what an opportunity for this guy. An incredible effort, the tennis he played down the stretch. Basically a perfect match against Roger Federer that he had to win to get in. Then he played an excellent match against Tomas Burdick, and then he was just outplayed. Djokovic played basically a perfect final in Bercy against him. but. Uh, He's very mature for his age, even though it's his first experience. He's been here as an alternate before. Uh, he takes his tennis very seriously. He's very professional. He has a great team around him, obviously with Ivan Lubacic and Ricardo Piatti yeah. in his corner. They have a, a great tandem, and they've really been great architects for his game. And they've, he protects his weaknesses very well, which obviously are his movement and his backhand. But his weapons are so massive off the serve and the forehand that he's able to mask and defend those. So once again, tonight the matchup against Federer, as great as Federer just is able to block and deflect back the pace and also give you so much different variety against Round that you beat him just uh, about 10 days ago. Yeah. And we talked a little bit about not, you know, not being able to ease yourself into this tournament. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not much fun for Roger Federer either. Yeah. He's, he's now playing the, the biggest serve in the world, the guy who just you beat him in his last match. That's his uh, sort of welcome to the, back to the O2. So, yeah. you know, it works both ways.